I don't think there's any reason to jump on stage and punch somebody. Violence is, you know, just just go, hey, 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 you know, this is not cool. I uh, know Will very well, and I love him. I think he's a great man. And if anybody insulted my wife, I'd be pretty angry too. Did I miss anything? <laughs> there's like a different vibe in here. Turns out Hollywood is still experiencing the shockwaves of the incident that took place during the Oscars. Many celebrities have come out to talk about how the incident has affected their lives. Amy Schumer is one of the celebrities who has been greatly affected by the altercation between Will Smith and Chris Rock. So what did she say, and who else was affected by the incident? Amy admitted she's still feeling triggered and traumatized after the events of Sunday night's Oscars where she was the host. She presented the 94th Academy Award awards alongside Regina Hall and Wanda Skies, but all anyone could talk about after the ceremony was Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Schumer addressed the topic on her Instagram account, and according to her, the 2022 Academy Awards incident was based on toxic masculinity. I think we can all agree that the best way to unpack what happened is to stream my series at Life and Beth Hulu and see me on tour this fall. But for real, still triggered and traumatized, I love my friend Chris Rock and believe he handled it like like a pro. Stay up there and give an Oscar to his friend Quest Love and the whole thing was so disturbing," she continued. So much pain in Will Smith. Anyway, I'm still in shock and stunned and sad. Schumer continued, I'm proud of myself and my co-host, but yeah, waiting for this sickening feeling to go away from what we all witnessed. The Life and Beth actress also had her first stand-up appearance since co-hosting the Oscars on Saturday, taking a moment to address the situation which involved her friend and collab collaborator Rock. At the comedy show held at the Mirage Theatre in Las Vegas, Schumer said, We're going to talk about everything in the Oscars, but I just want to talk about drinking because I have been drinking so much and I am severely hungover, Schumer also added. I don't even know what to say about the Oscars. I have no jokes about it. All I can say is I don't know if you saw this, but Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Did that cross your newsfeed? The comedian said she was feeling myself and confident that she and her co-hosts, Wanda Skies and Regina Hall, were excelling in their roles until Will got on stage and struck Rock. She called Will Ali a reference to the actor's role as boxer Muhammad Ali in the 2001 film Ali. It was just an effing bummer. All I can say is that I was really sad, and I think it says so much about toxic masculinity. It was really upsetting, she said. But that was not all. Amy Schumer also implied that she is stepping away from her active career for a month break as she shared an Instagram snap with her son, Jean, on Thursday morning. The 40-year-old comedian wrapped her arms around her two-year-old little one in the peaceful photo and wrote, out of office reply for the next month, thanks. Well, Amy wasn't the only one who was upset by the show. Wanda Skies also talked about how the ordeal affected her. Wanda Skies revealed that Chris Rock actually apologized to her. The 58-year-old revealed this in an episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show where she shared how the incident played out from her perspective as an Oscar host. The actress and comedian told DeGeneres that she felt so awful for her friend Chris when she found out about it while backstage. I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but I saw Chris at Guy O'Seri's after party, and as soon as I walked up to him, the first thing he said is, I'm so sorry. I was like, why are you apologizing? And he was like, it was supposed to be your night. You and Amy and Regina were doing such a great job. I'm so sorry this is now gonna be about this, Sky said and added, because that's who Chris is. When asked about the altercation, Sky said, it was sickening. It was absolutely, I physically felt ill and I'm still a little traumatized by it. And for them to let Will stay in that room and enjoy the rest of the show and accept his award, I was like, how gross is this? This sends the wrong message. If you assault somebody, you get escorted out of the building and that's it. But for them to let him continue, I thought it was gross. Sky says she feels she and her co-host deserves an apology. We were the host, right? So we were, this is our house, we're inviting you in, we're hosts, we're gonna take care of y'all tonight and make sure you have a good time and no one has to apologize to us. We worked really hard to put that show together, so just the industry itself, I'm like, what the hell is this? In a statement made to People Magazine on Monday night, Sky said, violence is never the answer. Chris Rock has also been greatly affected 
affected by the altercation, but in a positive way. After being on the receiving end of the slap that broke the internet during the Academy Awards on Sunday, Rock is continuing on his Ego Death comedy tour, which officially kicked off on the 2nd of April in New Jersey. The altercation seemed to have given Rock good publicity since the tickets for the performances were sold out by March 30th. The comedian was also going to perform six shows at the Wilbur in Boston before the onset of his tour, all which were sold out according to Ticketmaster's website. The tickets to Rock's show were initially going for $51 to $71, but resellers are now listing them for exponentially higher rates. TickPick, a secondary ticket seller, has seen a 641% increase. We sold more tickets to see Chris Rock overnight than we did in the past month combined, TickPick's official Twitter page announced Monday. On the flip side, things seem to not be going well for Will Smith, who has since chosen to take a step back from the entire mess. Smith's career and family brand might be forever tarnished due to the altercation. For several years, a growing branch of Smith's family enterprises has adapted, delivered reality star revelation and emotional intimacy across an expanding number of platforms. Beyond Smith's acting career and his introspective, best-selling memoir, there is a popular Red Table talk show on Facebook Watch, in which Pinkett Smith, their daughter Willow, and Pinkett Smith's mother, Adrian Banfield Norris, hold forth on everything from racial identity to workout routines to the Smith's unconventional marriage. Smith's upcoming projects include Emancipation, a $100 million high-prestige drama for Apple, an action thriller at Netflix, a remake of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, in which he would star opposite Kevin Hart for Paramount, and the second installment of a travel series for National Geographic on Disney+. They are all under the banner of Westbrook Studios, the television and film arm of the media company that the Smith family started in 2019. It was valued at $600 million earlier this year when investment film bought a 10% stake. Could the slap derail all that? Well, according to experts, the answer is yes. Will Smith could lose everything. One person who thinks so is the rap editor-in-chief, Sharon Waxman, who said, It is kind of crazy to think that this one incident could wipe away so many decades of goodwill. But it was so public. It was so outside of the box. One agent we talked to called it a stunning act of narcissism. The movie star brand for Will Smith is badly tarnished. Several public relations specialists who focus on crisis management management also warned that the incident could erode the goodwill that the Smiths have built up, while others suggested the fallout could be contained. His brand has currently damaged goods worldwide, said Mike Paul, a public relations expert. Veteran television producer Jonathan Murray, who has also dealt with on- and off-screen drama and family brands and programming like Keeping Up with the Kardashians, said that the outcome for the Smiths depends on what steps they take, and particularly Smith take now. I think most people would give him the benefit of the doubt, said Murray, a co-founder of production company Bunham Murray, which pioneered reality TV. He then added, but it'll really rest on whether we believe that he's authentically dealing with this. The incident came as Smith has appeared to be in a period of transition, seeking out loftier and more personal roles, expanding his media empire beyond film and television, openly discussing the abuse he witnessed his father inflict on his mother, and working on what he has described as self-understanding through therapy, mediation, and even hallucinogens. Strategizing about being the biggest movie star in the world, that is all completely over, Smith said in an interview with the New York Times Magazine in December. I want to take roles where I get to look at myself, where I get to look at my family, I get to look at ideas that are important to me. Everything in my life is more centered on spiritual growth and elevation. Well, now only time will tell if Smith will actually get to realize these goals. But I would like to hear from you. Do you think Will's career can recover from this? Let us know in the comment section below. And in case you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other video about celebrities who are supporting Will's actions. And as always, thanks for watching.